Hello everybody, welcome to the episode of Sunday Showcase, where I don't screw up the recording of the audio and such. I'm your host, Wizworld100, you're the viewers, and I'm the showcaser, and the game that, well, uh, that I'm playing again, because I screwed it up, is La Mulana on Steam. So let's get right to it. What I did not realize was that the game volume increased, audio-related th things, long ago, before humanity came into existence. In existence, Wizard 100 pressed the A button and skipped all of that crap. So this game has been around for a long time. The original one that I've heard from uh, Ultra Mega Ultra J Man back then he was just called J Man, and I did play a little bit of it. But since I wasn't that far off, let's start a new game as I also explain a few things. Finally, I, I reached La Milana. The adventure starts here. Yay! That map, I get the feeling you're only gonna see it once. So we start off as this guy. We go in here to talk to this old guy, and he gives us a computer. I'm skipping all the dialogue because I already read it before, and it's... Uh, he just explains stuff. Basically, we got this computer, and he occasionally sends you emails, and welcome to the yada yada yada. Which is a way for, which is a way for the game to tell you uh, what to do or give you hints. This thing is whippable. This is pretty much kind of like Castlevania. Oh, by the way, this thing up here is where you save. As you can see, I've saved here before. You have to press down to do that, but it kind of didn't do that the first time I went there, so it was kind of weird. That thing that looks like a log is a weight that you get to put on the little stumps. Oh, another weight. Excellent. We're going to need these. We're going to need these. It's me. Good morning, sunshine. Get the shell horn. Get the shell horn. It's an item that supposedly lets you uh, know if you've done something right. Oh. He got whipped. I can't hear the music, by the way, so this is kind of annoying. But it is kind of cool. But the music is pretty cool. Press down to interact with objects, much like in Crave. Crave. Crave story. You crave a story? Okay. I can hear a little bit of the music there. I don't think you need this shell, but it would be kind of helpful for a first timer to play, to use it. By the way, you don't take fall damage in this game, which is good. I know, well, since we're here, I'm gonna go make a save for future play. Oh, so there's a bunch of pages for save files. I wonder is there gonna be a thing where I have to make sure I keep an early save file or else I get screwed. Hopefully not. Make sure you jump. Oh yeah, the jumping physics is a little weird. It, there's nothing like wrong with it, it's just kind of odd. Because you kind of have control in the beginning of your jump, but anything afterward that's just all left up to how you jumped. Push this rock aside. Answer the email, it's not needed. He just says, oh, try pushing the thing in the ball. Speaking of uh, interacting, I'm pressing the down button and nothing is happening. Is that a map behind the wall? Gate of Guidance. Oh, yeah. Oh. I was going to say, you can pause the game and uh, it would actually show some Chinese text. Most of you who are going to say it's Japanese are not entirely wrong, but you're pretty uh, dumb for that. Because it's Chinese. Just trust me. But it is Japanese in this case. Get an item. A sacred orb, which I have no clue what it does. Oh, until... Don't you feel stronger holding that orb? Don't eat it, though. I don't know why I need... Oh, it gave me more health! Okay. Alright. I died in here last time when I was recording, so let's hopefully not have that happen... Now, it was so stupid. I didn't know you could whip the uh, the jars because I didn't notice the little sparkle it does. And, uh, well, basically, I, I died. And here's a save point, which I also didn't... It also didn't work the first time, so that was very misleading. I'm going to go to the right here where we got elephants that... Elephants on their trunks. It's very odd. Yeah, basically, I only found out, I only, like, realized you can break the jars at that point, because I was like, I can't possibly be stuck here. Whip them elephants into shape. They're already in shape, I mean, they got a pretty strong trunk. I don't know how to open that treasure. There must be something here I'm not seeing. Oh, yeah, and watch out for that eye. It will hurt you. And he also does a lot of damage, too. I'm not exactly sure when he actually hits you. He's not exactly looking at me. It's kind of like... Like, I'm the Eye of not Sauron, and I shoot lightning bolt at you. I wonder what I'd die if I go down, if I fall into spikes. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, it was a trick. It was a trick. Hey, are those ninja stars? Beat the bones down. Shuriken. Well, ninja stars in general. Sometimes they're hidden weapons. They look like about being weapon ruins are a bit funny. Can't use weapons without ammo. Collect ammo that matches the type. Okay, once you do that, you'll be able to use your weapons. Great, how do I switch? Oh, there we go. How do I unselect it? Oh, it's a church. Tra ah, it's a trap. Okay, so I can't go. I can't proceed any further here. And I fall for the same trick again because it's just right next to me when I enter the screen almost. Can I. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it either. Stupid eyeball. Ah! What did I do? Aside from chucking ninja a uh, shuriken at your at your eye, which I did absolutely nothing, I might add. Uh, gotta be careful. Well, the only place to go is down. After I make a tactical save, because I'm scared of dying. I'd imagine the spikes would hurt me normally, and not be an instant kill. The hell is looks like a looks like an old guy a guy crawling on his legs with a bug butt. All right, got some more money. What does? Oh, I don't have any uh, weights. I can't interact with these tombs. I don't know if they wanted me to interact with them, but nothing's happening. Give them a ninja star. Kind of a waste. I'm gonna whip the line like whipping them in a circus. Hmm, facing the back row reminds me of something you'd see in uh, Illusion of Gaia. One of my favorite games of all time. Hmm, how do I go? Now, how do I go up there? I don't think I can jump across. Ah! Oh, he just spawns a line. Line in front of me. What's wrong with you, game? Oh, wait, aren't these tombstones, like, for teleportation or something? I think that's what it was, because I did see a speedrun of this, uh... That was also co-commentated by a Ultra J-Man. Oh, yeah, you can't grab onto ladders when you, uh, jump onto them, which is kind of annoying. Well, who didn't see that coming? Because I certainly did. Oh, no, they actually move afterwards. Kind of scary. Whoa, spikes don't hurt me? At least... No, unless I land on them, which interesting, which is kind of interesting because most games you just touch them and then they just hurt you, which also still does happen in this game when you just touch enemies. Let me guess. Oh, I thought I'd fall through or something. There are boss fights in this game. I know that much. How do I get on the uh, on the good side of that on that block to push it? Just have to delve deeper. Hopefully, I don't die from this. He just committed suicide for nothing. And I committed suicide by getting killed! Oh, we still got time, so I'm gonna see where, how far I was off. Previously, I was right here. Back to the lion faces who don't drop any, uh, stumps for me. I wonder what happens if I whip this thing. Nope, nothing. I'm getting a lot of money that I'm not using. If only there was a way to get out of here. Like a fast way, like an escape rope. Game, I can't- I don't- I don't know how to get up there! Stop trolling me! Or is it for me to get there from above? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use that tombstone to teleport into that area. However that works. I believe you also have to kill, like, specific enemies to trigger things to happen. I don't like these guys. They're red. Man, he's a tough red motherfucker. Well, he's dead, but that took an awful long while. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what the green stuff does, uh, it seems like it heals you when you're at a hot spring of some sort. Hmm, that took a little took a little while to actually kill. If only this guy can crawl. Come on. All right, let's see what this what this will trigger. Assuming I was oh, I, I I see what the what the intention was. Hopefully, gotta push them both. Gotta push them both. Gotta push them both. Gotta push them both. Hopefully they don't get stuck. I really hope they don't get stuck. They got stuck. Oh, at least it reset, so that's good. Much like the enemies. Hey, I got locked out. What's the deal? <laughs> I don't know, but I fell down. That's the deal. That's the new deal. More elephants? At least they're not pink elephants. Because then, then someone's drunk. At least I can whip them good. Whip them good! What's that blue light? Nope, I didn't get any new email. Wait, are they all in order? Alright, so I skipped some emails that might have actually helped me if I didn't... If I didn't know not to skip them. Oh, look, I died again! 
Let's give it one more go. I lost all that money. Let's go back to the village. And trigger some more emails. Come on, climb. How many of you have climbed up ladders? I have. I had to do that to fix the roof. Or at least attempt to fix it. Yeah, see that word says, uh... Oh, up on top of the ground, which is the surface. Right, let's go into the shops. I don't know what that thing is. That's a hand scan. It's used to inspect snow Oh. You're a son of a bitch, aren't you? Whoa, did the graphics change for that? Cool. Research. After doing some research. You bought a hand. You couldn't have told me to buy a hand scanner? From skeletons and mysterious hunting that. I gave a map of the surrounding areas of a man, but he ain't coming back. He died somewhere other. I might find the map. Jeez. Thanks for telling me now. I didn't even... So the so the game's not being a dick. Actually, yes, it is being a dick. It didn't tell me about this crap. That's a buckler. It'll keep your hide safe from shots from smaller beastie types. For a limited time? Yeah, I'll think about it later. Don't tell me anything like, uh... It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. There's a hot spring. Cool. That's where you heal. This is a PC shop. Map reading and save... Save maps of ruins in it. There's a glyph here. Well, this will be the decipher the... Well, it looks like I'll need to... Get some of this... Oh, he gave me five weights. How nice of him. Hmm, this might turn out pretty fun once you, uh... Figure, th or figure things and discover things. I should save before I lose all of this goodness. And why can't the pots just break in one go? Alright, I'm healing. It's just like a little, little puddle. It's a little puddle. That's a hot spring near serpents? Are they like the dragon blood? Eh, anyways, after I'm gonna after I save, I'm gonna go use the use the hand scanner just to check out its usage and then let's call it a video. Save. Oh yeah, this is also available on the WiiWare store too. I forgot about that. Alright, let's find a good old skeleton. Stupid bird. There's a skeleton, let's check him out. I got a map and- oh, you gotta press uh, the Y button, or at least, you know, the top button over here. I got a map and I was looking at it as I walked and I fell, I sort of died. Hey, <laughs> hey. Maybe it's not that funny. Tamed a map. Can I look at the map? What are these green things? I don't know what they are. But yeah, I probably should just end the video. Can I now read the signs now? Rapid waterfall be beyond this point. Weaklings should turn back. Oh, it wasn't a skeleton or anything, but it sure was something for me to read. It's a, I don't know if you had, if you, I was, tr I was pressing every single button on those post signs and they, and like nothing happened. So I kind of assumed that, you know, the game was just being a massive dick, which it was. But now that, uh, certain things have been discovered by me, it's not so bad. So uh, you just have to go, you can't expect this game to handhold you or at least, you know, even drop a subtle hint. Just gotta experiment and do stuff. Fortunately, we don't die from fall from any, or take any damage from fall damage. And I'm just gonna end it there. So that was La Milana for this week's Sunday Showcase. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It certainly seems like a cool game, despite being a bitch in the beginning, but through some patience and just playing around with a game, you'll eventually discover, you know, how good it is. And plus, it's a Metroidvania game, and it's been everywhere, so surely it has to be a good game, like Echo the Dolphin. But no, not that, not like, not Echo the Dolphin. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sunday Showcase. I'm Wizard 100. You're the viewers, and I'm the showcaser. So stay tuned for more as I work on more video game, video game reviews. And I'm not going to be writing any new scripts because I'm going to be working on the ones that I've already written. Okay, I keep, I just keep piling all this stuff, but I can't help it. I got all these ideas, these opinions that I got to write out and such. So with that said, see ya.